Now, people certainly going stir crazy staying at home. We found some out at McKinley Park today to get some fresh air while practicing social distancing. But not everyone is following the rules. Hiking trails pretty busy. Several out at this one in the Bay Area. Tonight, the governor did not hold back, calling out those who aren't keeping their distance. Be a good neighbor, be a good citizen. Those young people that are still out there on the beaches uh, thinking this is a party, yeah, time to grow up, you know, time to wake up, time to, to recognize it's not just about the old folks, it's about your impact on their lives. Don't be selfish. No mincing words there. CBS 13's Heather Jansen live in downtown Sacramento. All right, Heather, does it look like people are following those governor's orders out there tonight? Well, absolutely, Marley. It's certainly not what you'd expect to see on a Saturday night out here in downtown Sacramento. The streets just absolutely bare. And as we learn throughout the day, that's actually what you'd find in most Northern California communities, a sign of the times that people tell me means good things. Eerie sights and sounds of downtown Sacramento. Walk sign is on. With little to no foot traffic in the area, only people like Keith Gary grabbing his food to go in support of staying at home as much as possible. We have to do something. I mean, you can't just put everybody in a bubble. Keith right? says he's never seen these streets like this, but he says he's seen some people still not cooperating. No, some people are taking this serious. That could be said for many east of Sacramento in Placerville just days ago. There are still some restaurants which are open, mm -hmm. for, like for in, -dine, in dining. Still serving people in their seats after Governor Newsom's order to stay home following El Dorado County direction instead, one that went into effect on Friday. I'm just following the, their letter to the law because that's what I have to follow for anybody is the county. Now the town seems to be operating as it should. Amore Mio's Mari Shimana and Sigrid Zendate knew something like this was coming, both from Italy keeping tabs on their family back home. Despite all these empty seats, they still have hope. We, we got to be faithful. Mm -hmm. We got to be faithful enough that's like a to go order and uh, we pray. Knowing there's only one thing we can do. It's kind of weird because we, we need to be separated physically, but we need to be united mentally. From Placerville to downtown Sacramento and beyond. And everybody needs to do their part. Governor Newsom in his address tonight saying he believes in the spirit of Californians and that the social pressure should be enough to keep people inside. He also went on to say he doesn't believe that there will be any penalties for businesses and uh, that law enforcement help should not be necessary. Yeah, people certainly need to hear that. Wow, Heather, it is just unbelievable to see what the area looks like behind you right now. Thank you for that live report.